Hello, I'm ABX Striker and welcome back to the video. Today I want to talk about capes in Minecraft. This is one of the big topics that comes up all the time because everyone sees someone with a cape and they think, I'd like a cape, how do I get one of those? And the simple answer to that question is you probably can't get one. They're very, very tricky to get, notoriously tricky to get, and although there's lots of them out in the wild, the majority of people don't have a Minecraft cape and will never have one. But if you do want to get a Minecraft cape, if you're willing to jump for a bunch of hoops, here is every single Minecraft cape explained, even the ones you can't get, how they were obtained, and how you maybe can get one in the future too. So hopefully you do enjoy this video going over every single Minecraft cape. You can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like this whole video. And I, I kind of like the breakdown of something that's one of the big mysteries of Minecraft. Again, to this day, many people still aren't quite sure what capes do because they are for such very specific reasons. And once they're given out once, they're usually not given out again, such as the first examples we'll go through. The most well-known examples, I feel like nobody will be complete about mentioning these because when you go to any Minecon physical event, Minecon Earth doesn't count, you will get yourself a cape. So back in 20, 11, the very first Minecon they ever held, uh, it was in Las Vegas if I'm not mistaken, they decided to give out a cape which looks a little bit like a lava man on it, and if you went to that uh, Minecon Las Vegas, uh, then because you have to register your Minecraft account with them, they would give you this cape, and to this day you can keep that cape. In fact, a lot of people, uh, you might see this every now and then, the only way you could have had this cape is by going to Minecon in 2011, which is now, you know, over seven years ago by the way, but yeah, some people have been playing Minecraft for over seven years, and this cape kind of proves you at least knew about Minecraft seven years ago, and you liked it enough or knew about it enough to go to Las Vegas to go to a physical event to get this cape. So yeah, this cape is kind of like one that represents like, oh yeah, I went to the first ever Minecon back before Minecon was cool. So yeah, the second uh, Minecon ever event ever back in 2012 also gave out a cape and this one is a little bit, in my opinion, I like this cape a little bit better because it's a golden pickaxe on a blue background. It's a really nice contrast in the colors, but you got this one for going to Minecon 2012. So uh, because Minecon 2012 was in Paris, that also tells you that whoever has this cape has at one point been to France. So isn't that wonderful? Or is Disneyland Paris? So they've been to Disneyland and they've been to France and they've been playing Minecraft since 2012, which I know there's, there's like a few lists of uh, cool things you can get from that. And again, most players in Minecraft will not have this. And as a fun fact, this is probably one of the rarest capes because everyone who isn't OG of Minecraft keeps the 2011 cape to show off like, oh, I've been around since then. But not a lot of people show off, oh yeah, I've been around since 2012, since most obviously 2011 people went to 2012. And uh, yeah, the next uh, cape here is from 2013, which is back in Florida. And this one is just a piston because, I mean, a piston's a pretty cool block on a green background. I don't like this out of all the Minecon capes. I think this one's probably the ugliest, but again, this shows you've been playing Minecraft since 2013. Then, of course, there was no Minecon in 2014, so no 2014 cape. There was a 2015 Minecon, which if you ever meet me on Minecraft PC, you know it's the real me because I have this cape right here, the cape with the iron golem on it. And in fact, they put this on the backpacks too, and like, you could tell when someone's Minecon in London, uh, which, by the way, the event, which is where I live, by the way. Um, so yeah, you can tell someone's been to the UK, someone's been to London from having this cape, and you can also tell that they've been playing Minecraft since at least 2015 and they liked it enough to go to that event. Only 10,000 people were there. Again, it was the second largest Minecon ever, but not as large as the biggest Minecon they've ever held and the last Minecon to this state, perhaps the last Minecon ever, which is the Minecon 2016 attendees cape, which looks like this. And again, seeing all of these capes, so, you know, looking at this cape by itself, it's it's pretty cool, maybe the coolest, but seeing all of the capes together kind of gives you an idea of like how long Son has been really into Minecraft. And it's kind of cool that only, you know, of the hundreds of millions of players who play Minecraft, there is only thousands of people with these capes, and some of those thousands of people never redeem their capes, some of those thousands never play them online, and that's kind of cool to know that if you do have one of these capes, you're an exclusive club, and uh, as a fun fact, I believe I have both the last ones, and I have like somewhere, like a spare code for that 2016 cape that at some point I intend to use for something, but yeah, anyway, let's let's not mention that too much because otherwise a bunch of comments will say, Toy Cat, give it to me, so let's move to the next uh, the set of capes which are the ones you could temporarily get but cannot get anymore, because you might have had these capes at one point, but you can't have them anymore. So back in 2010, there was a Christmas cape, which you got for December 24th and 25th, where you had a cape on your back. There was also a cape for the New Year's of that year, which looked like this. Again, only available on the 31st of December 2010 and the 1st of January 2011. So years ago now, and it, it, even if you take your Minecraft back to that time, it won't show anymore. It was a temporary cape only for those days, and that's why you've probably never seen these capes before. I didn't know about them before I looked into the whole capes thing, and I thought it was interesting. And also another cape I did have, but I entirely forgot about, was the first birthday Minecraft. Minecraft Xbox cake. So yeah, this is uh, a, a one you had for the 13th of uh, May or the 9th of May to the 13th of May 2013 as a celebration for one year of Minecraft XBLA existing. They decided to give everyone this cape for four days and there is no way to get this cape now. I, I took my 360 back to 2011 to try and get this because I thought it was pretty darn cool but there is no way to get this cape and that is kind of a bummer but it's a thing that is true. So yeah, first birthday Minecraft Xbox cape was only available uh, for four days or five days I think that is and uh, you know it's never been available 
worth since, and you can't get it back any uh, anymore. So uh, it's worth mentioning, by the way, that's the only Xbox cape here. Most of these capes are Java, um, although you can get the Minecon capes on both the PE and on the console. They're not limited in the same way, like all of the rest of these capes. So next up, we have two capes, one of which doesn't exist anymore, the old Mojang cape, or Mojang cape. Uh, this is a cape which looks like this, and this was uh, for Mojang employees for that time. And then we have the current cape. So if you see some of that cape, then something's broken in your game. But if you see some of this cape, then you know they are a real Mojang employee because again, this is only for the Mojang AB employees. Uh, when they leave, they lose the cape. And it means that someone is actually employed by the game. So if someone claims to be Minecraft staff, don't believe them unless you see them online with this cape, in which case, oh, they might just be real. So before we go into the capes, which are still given out to this day, technically, I wanna mention all of the personalized capes because all of these capes are pretty rare so far, like only 10,000 Minecon capes or something. Uh, but these capes are one of a kind capes which existed at least at one point. So uh, this first one here is the bacon cape for the idea of the pigman, which you know didn't ever turn into a real mob, uh, was actually removed from him because too many people asked uh, not to make new capes. So it was like, I'm not gonna do that anymore. But he did decide to give capes to other people. So, you know, there was temporarily this cape, not available anymore. The millionth customer of Minecraft got his own little personalized cape, which looks a little something like this. And personally, I find this fascinating because the guy is called Akron Man one And you know, the value of this cape, the value of his account is like some unknown quantity. Like some people would be willing to pay like a lot for having this one of a kind cape. And he just kind of has it. I don't even know if he plays Minecraft anymore. There's no way to probably track that, but it's something that is quite fascinating. Next up, we have the Danny B Styles cape. It's DB. It's perhaps the ugliest cape of all of them because it's just meant to be like a cape to represent that he's Danny B Style. In case you're curious, I, you know, cause there's, we don't know the reason why he got the cape. Not just one day tweeted like, oh yeah, you have a co cloak on Minecraft now. So maybe he asked for it, maybe he didn't, but he's a musician from uh, quite a few famous uh, games such as Super Meat Boy, etc. And yeah, maybe, maybe you know of him, maybe you don't, but he has a cape to represent it regardless. So next up we have one uh, for a cloak for Julian Clark. It's just a snowman on it, which is kind of cute because he managed to get Notch in uh, contact with the TV presenter, Ray Cox. Uh, then we've got Cheap Shots cape, which is for one helping the Mojang team in Tokyo. A guy in Tokyo decided to help them out. And they're like, you know, have a cape, which is a copy of one from later, except with a Japan flag. We have Mr. Messiah's cape, which looks something like this. It's got the little ace of spades on there. And this was uh, for, it was a thank you for creating a really good mod, which then uh, was responsible for some code, which made it into Minecraft itself. So he made a good mod and they took some of his code and in exchange, they gave him a cape. So if you make a really good mod, maybe one day you'll get a cape, but he didn't actually get it until 2015, four years after they promised to give it to him for reasons that are unknown. Uh, we have the Prismarine cape, which looks something like this. As you can see, this was just as a, uh, you know, a well done on making a really good, uh, cause the guy make the chisel mod, you might know it, uh, made a really impressive Prismarine texture. So we got a Prismarine cape. And then finally we've got the capes, which are kind of available, but kind of not really. Uh, so essentially these are capes given out for very specific reasons. There is uh, the uh, crowd in translator cape. If you know another language and you know English, then you will have a chance, again, it's based on a dice roll of getting this cape. So of all the people who translate for Minecraft, they give some small percentage of this cape. They stopped doing it for a while, but back as of um, you know 2017, they started doing it again. And every now and then someone gets this cape in exchange for translating. Uh, the reason they stopped doing it is because people got abusive. If you want to get a translating cape and you, you know, start like downvoting stuff or you try and use auto translate, they will not only, you know, they'll ban you from the pro program. So don't but try to know that. But if you are good at translating and you help out Minecraft, there is some small percentage chance you'll get a cape like this. And it's not a great cape in my opinion. It looks a little bit like the, the dropper or the dispenser or something. Not a big fan of it. By the way, if you look at the red stuff, it is kind of like a very small version of the Chinese flag with the little star, the gold, etc. So in case you're curious as to why the red is there, that's the reason for that one. Um, then of course, we've got the scrolls cape. This is for people who came first place uh, five times in a row. Uh, and there's only 10 people who ever did that. And obviously they stopped that being possible when they shut down scrolls. Um, but it is something that it, you know, scrolls users in theory could have got from. So yeah, 10 people got this cape because they were really good at scrolls, a different Minecraft game, uh, sorry, Mojang game. Maybe they didn't even play Minecraft. So some of these are unused and it's kind of cool that this exists. Uh, then we have the Cobalt Cape, which is for people who won the level making competitions in Cobalt League. If you play any other Mojang game, it sounds like there is some small chance for some tiny percentage of players that you will be able to get one of these. So again, uh, WASD just came out. Maybe that gets a thing. There's 19 people who have this cape, which is kind of crazy to think about. We have the Mojira moderator cape, which is people who use uh, the program they use to track bugs. You might know it, the bugs.mcminecraft.com. Uh, it's something like that, the Minecraft bug tracker. If you're a moderator on that, they give people this cape. I don't even know how you'd manage to get into a position like that, but I assume if you're active in helping them on the bug tracker, again, I'm not even sure how exactly you do that. Maybe leave useful comments, direct people to the right things, uh, then you might just get a Mojira mod moderator cape. Again, it's very, very rare. And then we have a Realms map maker cape, which is for anyone who has ever made a map for Realms, which was featured on the thing. And there is 
68 people with that cape. So how did you get a Minecraft cape? Well, the easiest way is to attend a Minecon. Will there be a Minecon? We don't know in the future. They kind of like left it vague as to whether there'll be a physical one or not, but they said because they want, uh, I think they said a Minecraft's kind of egalitarian where like anyone should be able to watch it and not just people who have money and go to a convention, but I don't know, like that. Those are kind of fair barriers in my opinion. But so if there is a Minecon again, go to that. That's the easiest way. If there's not a Minecon, then you can somehow please one of the Minecraft developers. Again, Jeb's given out like two or three capes now. If somehow you do something amazing with mods usually like which helps the main game. So if you can code in Java and really impressively and also be lucky, you might get a cape. Or if you're really good at translating, you've got a tiny chance, again, it's based on dice rolls, uh, to get a cape. Or if you <laughs> somehow really good at making levels in a separate Moyang game at the right time, you might be one of the 19 people in the world of a cape like that. Or if you somehow get really big into Minecraft and um, you know uh, you actually get uh, managed to be like a moderator on the Mojo era, they'll give you one of their capes to recognize the amount of time you put in, which is a lot, so probably not worth doing. Or if somehow you make an amazing map which is featured on the Java version of Realms, then you get yourself a cape. And yeah, it's worth mentioning before we go here that these are only for Java edition, of course. Other versions, they have capes, but they're not in the same vein. And honestly, I think the cape rarity is a big problem for Minecraft as a game because people have such a high status thing put on them and realistically, if you want to have a cape, all you have to do is go on a server, because um, servers aren't meant to have capes, uh, you know, outside of Minecraft's control, but some servers break that rule, and, you know, if you go out and find them, then you can put a cape that way, and it's a way better way to do things. Or, you can maybe go on eBay and try and buy someone's old cape code, because uh, people will do that, most of them will scam you. I wouldn't recommend it, I'm just saying, there is every cape, in or, wait, 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 you could be employed by uh, Mo Mojang themselves, and you'd get a cape. So, yeah, how do you get a cape in Minecraft? The long story, or the long answer, is uh, do any of those things, and the short trial says you can't wait till next minecon if there is one and i know that's kind of a depressing end for the message but i wanted to go through them all because i found about about love capes that maybe you wanted to know about and again all of these from the minecraft wiki thank you very much for watching today's video like if you liked it share if you liked it subscribe if you're around here and i'll see you all next time goodbye